everyone welcome back to the channel we are back with another first look and we are doing a two point campus y'all i am excited um full disclosure i have been playing this this is xbox by the way if you have xbox game pass you are able to play this um quote unquote for free because we all know you're paying for the game pass so it ain't free free but no additional cost to you if you want to play this um but yeah so i've been playing this on my own since the game came out which was a couple of weeks ago um but it's been well not really a couple what looked like a week oh wow i think it's only been like a week yeah it's been a week <laughs> it seems like longer but um but it's really exciting if you don't know about two point uh county um two point hospital is their first game that they did which actually was kind of like a remake of theme hospital um, I think I actually did a first, like a, not, well, kind of a first look, but like more like a, I did like a back in the day series and, um, I played theme hospital. If I can remember, I'll link it below. But so two point hospital is kind of like that where you're running your hospitals and, um, two point campus is now where you're running campuses, like college campuses. So, um, exciting. Uh, but let's get and get into it. So welcome to two point County. I'm Albert Crank, your own personal advisor, and I'm here to help. You may not have any experience as a campus administrator, but the people at Freshly County College are eager to give you a chance. I'm not sure what that says about them, but hey, let's head to Freshly Meadows and get started on your academic empire. All right. So before we get into the campus, I was thinking when I was looking around y'all that I wonder if they're using the same map because it says two point county map because like if you look in the top left uh right hand corner that looks like where i am in two point hospital which is um where i'm, I'm in the smogly hospital yeah i'm taking forever but i'm in the smogly hospital and that looks like the same area so i'm wondering if this is literally the same map from two point hospital i'm gonna have to look into that and see if that's what it is but let's get and get into it this countryside college has low expectations and a nice canal it's a perfect place to start your career. So we get 500,000 starting funds. Well, let's get started. So uh, while this loads, if you're not familiar with my new I guess, format for my first looks, I'm doing them kind of like next look style where I'm recording um, anywhere from two or more episodes, but I'm posting them all at once. Um, this one, I'm not sure how many episodes it'll be. I just kind of want to get through this hospi hospital, <laughs> this campus with, um, with all three stars. So we'll see how many um, episodes it takes to get through to get through that. And um, I'm posting them all at once. So basically that means if you're watching this one, which is the first one, that means all the other videos for this first look will already be uploaded. So you can go continue on or watch them later. Oh, a look. university is not something that one simply opens like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Right. We are in here. First day of school. Welcome to Freshly Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The Two Point Countryside is the perfect place to start your career. Learn the ropes, make mistakes, and hit the ground smiling. Course info. So our first course, I guess the word that we're teaching, um, is Scientography, and we have ten students. This is a test announcement. Albert Crane. Announcement. Welcome to campus. Before you start churning out geniuses, you'll need to learn the basics of camp. Yeah, I, I keep saying camp, campus management. Try moving the camera and having a look around. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna speed through all of this because um don't really need to, there you go. <laughs> we know how to move a camera. Our campus is going to be running a scientography course. Let's start by building a science lab. Okay. All right, so I want to build a lab. I think I wanna do it over here. And uh, Albert Crank actually, what do we need? Oh. Five by five. Albert Crank. Let's do a six by six actually. No. Five by five, but let's do like this. Um, Albert Crank is in Two Point Hospital. 
So that's kind of fun to see him there. Do that right there. And I kind of want to put this in this corner. Hopefully, hopefully the students can still get to it. I think. All right, so we need to put some things in here for them to be able to do things. Now we haven't unlocked much. So I'm putting in here what can fit. Oh, darn. Oh, noodles. Okay, I'm putting in here uh, what can fit, but I think later when we unlock some more things with our Akudosh, then we can um put more. So I'll just worry about what we have for now. No, you can't have an extension. Um, I want to put that right here. Yeah, yeah. The window will be destroyed. Uh oh, perfect. Didn't even do that on purpose. All right, so I think that's fine for now. I'll worry about the rest later. Yes. Done. Now let's hire a teacher to run our first Scientography class. Can I or... ask, um, you be paying someone for using this next All right, so we have here oh, I just really don't know. Ellie Screen. Anyway, sure it'll be fine. Ellie has 70% teaching skill. And Ben Blindness, she drops litter and can't picture it. Well, not too bad. I mean, the drop litter part is a problem, but she's what we got. <laughs> Great work. We now have everything we need to run our Scientography course. When you're ready, select start next year to welcome our first year of students. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's fast forward. So there's a lot of like functionality, y'all, that is very new to Two Point Campus. The students are arriving on campus. Are you nervous? Why am I nervous? Um, a lot of functionality that's new and I'm still learning. I haven't watched any videos. Um, and I need to get on that because there are just tips and tricks, but I kind of like to play the game a little bit for myself first to get used to it so that when I do see the tips and tricks, um, it, it makes more sense for me, you know? Actually, I do want to do something just for those students who might, uh, look at that. The students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen? Here we go. Just in case I need to sit down and wait. Um... I love this, y'all. Look at this. And there are two students waiting. See? At the seats. And they're already using it. Look, they're in class. And they use each of these little stations to do different things in the class. As students learn, they gain experience points or XP, which will increase their academic level. All right. So the month just rolled over. But um, dare I say, I might like... Two Point Campus better than Two Point Hospital. And that's saying a lot because I love Two Point Hospital. And like I mentioned earlier, I still play it um, on my Xbox as well. So if you have Game Pass and want to play Two Point Hospital, you can for quote unquote free. Um, shameless plug, I'm not making any money off of this. <laughs> um, all right, almost there. Complete a Scientography class. We're at 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Done. Good job, students. They did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do it all that well. It seems a number of them were directed by one, distracted by one need or another. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in enthusiastic and cheerful haze. Okay. A student's needs, such as their thirst or toilet comfort, oh, toilet comfort, will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in classes and earn more XP. Take a look at our students and see what we can do to improve the campus. Okay, so this guy here looks like he has low energy or something. The key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's. Students need somewhere to relax themselves, to rest themselves, and to relieve themselves. Sure, two of those might be the same thing, but that does not sound, oh, but it does sound convincing. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. Sure. Okay. So I am going to put mine over here. 
dormitory where the magic sleeping happens. The students sleep to regain their energy. They keep students Everyone happy. Oh, keep students happy by decorating their dormitory and, and providing at least one bed for every five students. Receive monthly rent based on accommodation you. rating, and students are automatically assigned accommodations. And it's a minimum two by two. Okay. So, um, I kind of want to. Yes, that's right. Emotions are high do... here in Crockenbush today as students have flooded into the city to protest the Maybe like existence of Education Minister this Arquin Foxbridge. And then they dabbled in some chanting, but haven't been able to get into something an like easy this. And repeatable rhythm. That's kind of big. We'll here letting you know that's too big. They settle on that's too big. It happens. For our first one. We can always do another one. Uh, take out that. Yep. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. Um, I don't want. I don't really want to put that one yet. So, I'm thinking we do a bed there and a bed here. I want to put desk in the middle, and then I think we only have ten students now or something like that because of the enrollment. Can I do a desk right here is the question. Like three beds for now? Yeah, let's just do three beds. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have did, because we have three different beds. Um, now I wish I would have done them different colors, but it's fine. Um, It's not like this is my permanent save or anything. So that's fine. Wait, what? Oh, okay. All right, and then, oh, I know. Let's do like back here. It's like their little closets or something. <laughs> Let's give y'all two point campus. Maybe yours is over your bed because you love two points. And then maybe yours is over your desk. You know, it's gonna mess up the window, but it, that's fine. We can move the window to right here. Yeah. All right, so a little assignment board. Let's put that right here by the door. They kind of come over here. Look at whatever that is. What is it called? No, notice board. And then let's give them, can I fit it? Uh, I can. Hand sanitizer when they walk out. And then let's just get we can put one over here and then just put another one like right here next to the notice board or something. But now that I do that, now I kind of want to move these over. Now it can stay actually. Okay. We're done. Yes. Sell the window. Dormitories are a great place for students to relax when they're low on energy. One bed between five students is considered normal on campus. Students may dream of having their own bed, but they'll happily share with a few friends. Oh, all right, so build a bathroom is next. All right, uh, I want the bathroom kind of like right next to them over here. Uh. Do you want to learn better? And then kind of like do. that. Wonder, how do we do that? And then uh, we're going to give them four stalls. I have that golden bathroom stall that you see up there. Is looking for I got that um, free-ish. I say free-ish because um, is to sleep with a book in front I got it on top just because your face. As you sleep, I got the game. Like I signed up on Two Point County or whatever and then like you get it when you sign knowledge. into the game in the beginning on the main screen. So see the results that's how yourself. you can get it if you want it. Didn't have to pay for it at all. Uh, um, yeah, I kind of wanted more. Okay, can I sell this? How do you sell? I don't know how to sell. Oh, no, don't do that. I don't know how to sell. 
No. Where's the sell button? I don't see it. Okay, you know what? It just, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, can we fit this? Yes, we can. So hand sanitizer. And then let's get a plant over here in the corner. Then let's get another one like right here in the middle. Beautiful. Beautiful, all right, done. And we unlock the shower room. Nani has somewhere to sleep. Did you hear that? I think our students might be hungry. Traditionally, campuses offer a range of food and drink. So, you know, to stay in life, let's add some vending machines. Let's do that. All right, so here we have a Cheesy Gubman's Machine, the county's favorite snack. Increases food and decreases toilet need and healthiness and needs maintenance. We know that. Let's put it over here, closer to the classroom area because I in particularly know something else that's coming up to build that I wanna put um, over there. If it were up to the students, I'm sure we'd all be living in our own filth. Luckily, they have very little say in this matter. Let's hire a janitor and place a bin to keep things nice and tidy. Okay. All right, so let's head over to janitors. We have two that have maintenance skill. So we have Billy Lane who is squeaky clean, excellent personal hygiene, and dry mouth, gets thirsty easily, and dives head first. It has 30% maintenance skill. And then we have Mick, Mick and Bosch. <laughs> has 30% maintenance skill, 4% happiness. I am bladder toilet comfort decreases slower than most. We don't have much options. Oh, and we have Honey Legend, hold on. Look at Honey. Honey, same with maintenance and happy thoughts, but it's also squeaky clean, excellent personal hygiene, and toilet comfort decreases slower than most. Yup, I like honey. And while you're, look, look at this, here you go. Keep that litter. And then they said place a bin. Let's place a bin over here. Let's see how the students do in their next class. Okay, so now we have to pass, let me fast forward time, pass a scientography class. So looking at the time, it looks like a new month is starting November. So they're not gonna be in this class right now. They're gonna be here in a Scientography lecture. So that's the difference. Um, like I said, there's a there's a lot in this game that I'm still trying to learn all of it. Um, but one of the things is, you know, one type of class can have different rooms. So like this, I guess, month, they're in here. Whoa, doing psychotography lecture, but then another month they may be over here back in, in the lab. One big Let's just watch her. Gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Look at them taking notes. And this little icon here tells you what class they're in, I believe. That's my deduction. <laughs> he is stinky right here. Look at him. Uh-uh, get off the phone in class. Get off that phone. All right, so they're almost done with class. No unauthorized talking on campus. There we go. Let me get the speed back down to normal. Well done. Those students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you'll have to fund the campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses at the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. Cool. Satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next on the agenda is the spot of studying. Luckily, the students have just been given their first assignment. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP away from their classroom. Though, it looks like they need some new facilities. Check your inbox to see what they need. All right. Your inbox. Welcome to your inbox, a place to check on student requests, disaster warnings, and upcoming visits. Some campus issues are time sensitive, Keep an eye out for new messages, okay? All right, assignment request, Alpha Panther, library orientation, look at these books. They want a library, it's gonna cost me 11,900 and it says nine people agree. So I was thinking like when I was playing on my save, like do you use that to see how many people, I mean, to, if you do you use that to kind of like triage what you need to do first. So if I had this one, that says nine people agree, another one says like one person agrees then maybe I should do the nine person one first, you know, that type of thing. And I have 60 days to do it. 
I said, I want to do the library over here. And I want to do it like this, except take that out. The door here. I want to put the library lady right here in the corner. As soon as they come in. Can't sneak by her. And then we have three different desks. So I'm thinking like one and then that desk can go here. Two, that desk is gonna go in the corner. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I can try it. All right, one, two, three. Let's see if this works. Oh wait, no, I was I was thinking right the first time. Is it gonna fit? Nope, it's not. Okay, hold on. Oh please. Yeah, I have got to figure out how to get rid of stuff. And that's the show. Join us tomorrow when we ah, okay. X. X gets rid of get rid of things. Okay. That should be great. So you, you need know, to move over, I guess, a smidgen. Still haven't gotten to eat any of them. I just need I mean, to fit really, this in the corner. About five minutes. Sorry. We'll leave that for tomorrow, shall we? Join us. Thank then. you. Okay. And then I want to fit you. Can this fit right here? Oh wow. It does fit, but that's too that's too cramped. So let's move this over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we got all three different types. And then it, let's kind of do like this in the middle. There we go. And then let's put this board over here. Give them a nice little trash can. Throw away your stuff as you walk out the door, please. Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, put that like right there. And then, nope. You, right there so you can do their hands. And then last but not least, how trusted plants. One in that corner, and then maybe one right here next to this. Awesome. All right, so hire, uh, build a library, and now I need to hire an assistant. Uh, okay, good. This is the only one, Gilbert's Bright, that has library management. So I'm gonna go with Gilbert, but gets hungry easily. Toilet comfort decreases faster than most, and then moves slow, but that's fine. You can work on getting better people later. <laughs> And then complete a library assignment in the library. I'm gonna speed up time. Some of our students are completing an assignment in the library. Completing an assignment is a great way to earn XP outside of the classroom. Yep. So look at them lose using everything. They're thinking. They're taking a book out of that big green book. Let's see how the students do in their next class. Pass a scientography class with grade B. Okay, so. I wonder which class is gonna be used. I guess this one, because the month just started over in January. Yep, so they're back in here now. They're back in this room. Okay, we have something. Right, monthly income report. So not bad, 73.50 income. All right, so let's fast forward. We got, oh, wait, pause. Ah, oh, I missed it. I just saw that it was a bookworm. It went away. Shoot. Okay, time back. So now they're in class, they're learning. Hopefully they pass with a B. Yes, do what you need to do. Yes, bang that target. Yes, melt that ice or whatever it is that is. Yes, use that ray. <laughs> I love watching them. In Two Point Hospital, I finally unlocked being able to do surgery. And when I tell you, I love just sitting there watching them do the surgery. It's it's just funny. I do the same thing in Sims. I just I'm, I'm, I love watching like any game that has people in the game or things in the game that are doing something. I just like watching it. All right, so we're almost done here with with uh, Scientography. 
All right, done. Your students have gone from C grade chumps to B grade brainheads. Let's recap how you did, shall we? All right, Campus Management 101, educate. Provide better staff and facilities to improve your students' grades. Nurture, make students happy and comfortable to increase your learning rate. Expand, earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. Oh, let's check our monthly thing. Okay, so 8811. So we got um achievement unlocked. Oh, thank you. Um, Yeah, we did good, okay. Now go away, thank you. Congratulations, you've earned some kudos for completing objectives. Spend kudos to unlock new items as well as staff, outfits, and interior design options. All right, so it wants us to go spend some kudos. So, what we want. We got a pulpitation machine, which is for drink, but it provides the energy boost. Morsel men machine, which is food. No real benefit for that one. We have a, uh, oh gosh, sorry. We have a meat wizard machine for entertainment. Um, I might go with that one because I think I know I, I might want to use that later. Yeah, let's go, let's go with the, the wizard machine. We unlocked the student lounge and now we have um, some things going on here. Relationship item request, Dave Rainbow. Oh no, I've been slowly but surely developing romantic feelings for my friend, life act. So they want me to put down a love bench. So saying, yeah, we can unlock it. Use everything you've learned to help your students pass the year, okay. So the benches, and we've unlocked the staff room. The benches you have to use outside which I don't like the fact that like, not, not that I don't like, sorry. You have to decide whether you really want to put this stuff down or not because you don't want like a campus with these little art benches all over the place, you know? Ooh, get it. Oh, I missed it. Taking your medication because all right, so we did that. Um, what was the other one? Radio. Personal goal request, Piper McGruffin. I've tried kicking back in every room on campus, but nothing is quite hitting the spot. I think we need Your a dedicated room for students to hang out, to relax, to lounge. One person agrees, the but we're going to go ahead and do it. We've got a good one for you today. So the but lounge first, I want to put here in this corner, lights on. right next to the bathroom. Radio. Coming up but I want next. to take that out, put the door right here. Cool, cool. And then, um, let's see. I want to put this in first, because I always seem to not make enough room. <laughs> like when I did it in my personal safe. All right, so we want that. Come on now. And then the, that. And then let's do the fridge. Can the fridge go right here? No, okay, that's fine. The fridge we can put, oh, it can go right there. Cool, yeah, let's do that. Interesting. Oh, I, I probably couldn't put it there because of the microwave. Yep, that's probably it. All right, so then this I want to put uh, actually over here. And then this over here closer to like where the food is. Get your couch. Let's get this going in the corner. To be uh, hoping I can fit these in. Uh-oh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, it does work, but that's but I don't like that. So <laughs> let's move this over a little bit. Let's put it like right behind the couch or something. Yeah, that's fine. Don't hit nobody in the head, okay? Uh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Cause I'm not done. But I want the arcade machine over here in the corner. 
Maybe we can get a TV or something. We can put one in there, but we ain't got no TV right now. Uh, put a plant right here. And then put this like right here for now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Got the staff lounge. What's this? Income 8707. Cool. All right, so we have to finish our first year on campus. We're at eight, eight out of 12. Okay, we just got the average staff happiness of, of 60%. And we need to employ two more staff members. So I'm definitely thinking let's do another janitor. Of people ask me, Harrison, what can I do? Squeaky clean iron Harrison bladder. Let's do it. And, I say, and then let's first, do. You gotta throw out that question. There's what do we have already? Than asking for instructions. You gotta we take have one teacher, one assistant, manual, and two janitors. Use the box so let's do another teacher. That being said, today I'll be yeah, out just to back up that teacher potentially. Subversive you. All right, so you had another relationship item request from Tessa Mania. Oh no, I've been slowly but surely developing romantic feelings for my friend. Life, okay, we got this already, but they want a statue of love. Uh, let's unlock it. I will probably be more cautious about unlocking all this stuff. Um, let's put it right here by this one. Unlocking all this stuff. Like, cause where are you gonna put it? And you don't want to mess up the aesthetics, you know? But for this tutorial stage, I'll do it. All right, uh, weed infestation. We're in for a soggy stretch, a wet patch, a time that is rainy and muggy and dank. It may not be for everyone, but I'm sure the weeds will enjoy it. Weeds make the campus grounds less attractive, but can be removed by a janitor. Okay. All right, so now let's do the staff room. And then I'll probably call this an episode and move on to the next one. So let's do the staff room over, like the student lounge is right there. So maybe do the staff room in this corner. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's get them some, let's get them two couches. They need two of them. And I don't like where that place. Actually, no, I like where that's placed. I, I want you to move, yep. Hello? Move up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cause I wanna put the lamp right here. And then, let's get the machines back here. All right, trash. Uh, let's get, put their little dart machine back here. Not machine, but you know what I mean. Not machine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't mind me. Right, there we go. Um, what else? We're sorry for the that you Let's do this cubby hole. Maybe some cubby holes over here. And then some sanitizer. They can sanitize. You know, I love my sanitizer. If you if you ever played a uh, two point hospital with me, you know I love my sanitizers. I love the sanitizers. All right, something else can go over. You know what? Let's get them an arcade too. Why not? Why not? And let's go down with this little last. Let's do this little table. Cool. All right. So we only have a month left, so we're almost there finish your first year. So yeah, maybe I'll just wait until we, you know, finish our first year, but we also can get a level three science lab. Hey, Let's go ahead and add some items Breakfast and see if we can pop concept. this to a level three, which we should be able to. Let's use some kudosh. We have 190. I do, I, I, I want this, the science That's station. Let's unlock I that. I like a big bowl and let's put one of these in here. Lemonade. Yep, we got it, level three. And then actually let's do this one too for only 15 kudosh. So now we have like two different types of um stations. There we go, I like that. Now they have more areas to be in. 
And now we're just waiting for, oh, we're done. Congratulations, you finished the academic year. Let's head to the end of the year reward to celebrate and see how we did. All right, year one. 100% pass rate, zero graduating, 10 continuing, average exam results, 83%, zero expelled, zero failed, and zero dropouts. Pass rate, 100%, graduating zero. Oh, we did that already, Never mind. No awards. <gasps> That's jacked up because I got awards. In my personal save, I got awards. We'll forget you then. Bye. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna hit pause here actually, because this is where we're gonna end this first, first look. So let me know what you guys think. Like, I love this. I love this. I can't remember if I said this already, but I love Two Point Hospital, but I love this even more. So it's like a greater love. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the campus, but definitely interested in hearing what you all think. Like I said, it's only the first of maybe two, maybe three videos. We'll see um, what it takes to get through what I want to get through, but uh, just stay tuned to watch more. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please give a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.